Welcome back to this channel's favorite game show, 10 Things You Probably Don't Know About Let It Die. You clicked on the video, you know what you're in for, and this is my third one in the series, so I'm guessing you know what game we're playing. If you're new to the series though, welcome! In these types of videos, we play a little game where if you don't already know one of the items I will mention, you have to leave a like on the video. If you knew everything that I'm about to say, feel free to leave a thumbs down and ruin my day. Oh wow, that last one rhymed. Anyways, let's get to it. Since we started the last one with frogs, we'll start this one with frogs as well. Number 1 centers around the gamble shrooms once again. So we all know this shroom can turn you into a frog and getting hit while in that form means instant death. But did you know that if you eat a life shroom before getting hit in frog form, it bounces you out of that form? It expands the life shroom buff though, but at least you survive, right? Number 2 is centered around the reward room at the end of every 5th floor of Tengoku. So as you know, every 5th floor of Tengoku poses some sort of challenge, be it a boss or a screamer pit. Afterwards, you are rewarded by a bunch of loot. Did you know that whenever you open the main chests of these rooms, you will be able to see an image of Uncle Death? During my first few runs through Tengoku, I thought it was just a random flash of light that appeared when you opened these chests, but no, it's actually Uncle Death. I'm glad he's there cheering you on whenever you overcome a tough challenge in Tengoku. Okay, I bet I'll get most of you with this one. So whenever you run through the Candle Wolf tile set, you are greeted by a scenery that has a brutal fantasy setting. Number 3 is about something out of place that you may overlook while taking in the scenery. So through this curving hallway, did you know that there's a door marked with the label Staff Only? And did you know that you can get a glimpse of what's behind the door? It looks like it continues into a hallway which bends to the left. Now I'm really curious about what we will see beyond what the camera shows us here. If one of you guys know how to go to a free camera mode and let it die, let me know what's behind this door because I'm quite curious about it. I mean, why would the developers tease us with a glimpse of what's behind the door instead of completely blocking it, right? Speaking of the developers, I think I found something that the developers of this game unintentionally left out. So you may know that the Lion Knuckles Gortasic move involves chomping away the head of your target and blasting it off in a colorful fireworks explosion. While this is happening, have you ever bothered to look up at the explosions? Well, did you know that within the center of the explosion, you can barely see a faint crosshair? I'm no game developer, but I'm assuming that the symbol shouldn't be appearing whenever we perform that Gortasic move. I can only speculate that the crosshair marks the center of the explosive effect. I was very surprised when I decided to look up while this is happening. You know what's more surprising though? That according to these stats, 88% of you guys are not subscribed. So if you are enjoying this type of Let It Die content, please consider subscribing. Okay, enough with the promotional jokes, on with the video. Number 5 is centered around the express passes and the elevator. So, as you know, using express passes give you 10 extra slots, gives you special daily rewards, and allow access to the free premium version of the elevator. For now, let's focus on the elevator and the elevator lady. First of all, her name is... Torai Rin! And she stands near the elevator button whenever you use the Express Pass Premium Elevator. She talks to you while waiting for the elevator to arrive to its destination, while you nod your head as she tries to make small talk. Did you know, however, that after using the Express Pass Elevator for approximately 3 consecutive days, she begins sitting on the couch with you? Also, you unlock her other dialogues. Please don't be so the truth is, I... What? What is it? 
You also gain a single rage point whenever you ride with her, so yeah, that's a bonus to that. You just have to simp for three days. Yeah. So as you know, every day there's a time box you can open which contains a bunch of items with varying importance. I made that joke already, get out of here. Anyways, after opening it, you have to leave your waiting room in order to restart the timer by either climbing the Tower of Barbs or fighting the TDM. Did you know, however, that you can also use the defense simulation to reset the timer? As seen here in the clip, the reset for Uncle Prime was triggered when I got off my simulation. For number 7, we have something that you can actually use in your climb in the tower. Did you know that landing on your feet through either jumping or falling grants a higher alert range than when you are running. You can use this mechanic in order to lure in faraway haters which regularly patrol then Goku to your location. You can use this mechanic the same way I used it here to pick off this particular hater by luring her into a close location. Number 8 deals with one of the late game contents, specifically the floors 41 to 50. So as you know, the materials dropped within these floors are fixed, but the tile set will always change. You can either be running through the DoD, War Ensemble, Candle Wolf, or Milk Faction tile sets. Did you know, however, that there's a special room that you can come across within these floors? I don't know what it's named, but I just call it the tree room because there's a weird transparent figure of a tree in the center with a bunch of bodies and materials laying around. I think I've only seen this twice in my entire time playing Let It Die, so it's kinda rare, I think. Either that or I don't run that often around those floors. For number 9, did you know that you can go beyond 5 rage points? This can be done by starting a fight with more heat than the other team. If you're confused as to what it does, here's a clip from my previous video explaining why this works. Did you know that if your team builds up significantly more heat than the other team, participating in the fight would give you a red aura while traveling towards the enemy's bases? This shows that you have increased stats and you start out with 2 rage points as you get off the train. This gives you a better chance of winning the fight, so try to be the side who generates more hate against another team. So apparently, it doesn't just give you extra rage points, but rather increase its cap. As you can see here in this clip, if you save up on your rage points high enough, you can actually reach 7 rage points. Honestly, I don't know what you plan to do with 7 rage points, but hey, at least now you know how to do it. And for the last item, it's more of a way of dealing with a specific location using what we learned on item number 7. So this is placed in the Tengoku version of the War Ensemble tile set, which I call the Death Hole. It's essentially a trap where you are forced to fight 3 haters at once, once you set foot on that hole. As you can see, however, we employ the jumping trick to lure them away one by one and avoid unnecessary conflict. So that's another 10 things I think you don't know about Let It Die. Remember to leave a like if you missed any of these. Thanks again for the continued support guys. I have a bunch of video ideas but with the way things are right now, I can only put one out there every now and then. Regardless, I hope you guys are all staying safe and please don't forget to download your Death Starter DLC. Okay, on to the end card. So, I hope you all were entertained by that video. Click here if you want to watch another video of mine which is selected by the magical YouTube algorithm. Please don't forget to gently click that like and subscribe button if you liked my content.
Thank you very much for watching and I'll be seeing you guys. Bye-bye.